Good morning, guys. Oh, it's so hard to wake up this morning. I've got a lot I need to get done before I go out. Also, currently trying to upload this video, Vlogmas 2, so then that'll be all ready for when I for when it goes live tonight. But yeah, um, I'll do the morning forecast around the same time as I did in the last video, around 8.30. I did miss a trade while I was asleep, so we can go over that. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. Just doing a quick morning forecast. It's currently 8.20 in the morning. We're looking at AU on the one hour time frame. This is a missed trade, a missed entry, which happened at 1 a.m when I would have been asleep. So essentially, again, it's always the same sort of principle. Had the push up, counter trend, ranged, broke down, got in on the first retrace, which again, is this candle here that would have locked now, now locked in around, hold on, let me just get rid of that. I don't know, but just above break even, but you can see it's moving nicely. It's kind of trending. Uh, what's nice about this one as well is we had another level down here um on this inside bar so again inside bar is a candle that doesn't break the high or low of the previous candle so it's nice when things this is like a combination of the two where you're taking a retest back at the level and you're getting that formation it's like it's pushing up and then it does that formation and lands nicely within you know this region here and then you take it so yeah, that's gone into my December folder, which I'll ASR at the end of the week for EU. Taken out of it now. Now we can see that we're more correcting upwards. EJ, same story. These zero pairs just sort of pushed up and then started to ascend. So we'll see if we get the breakdown or if you push up. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to be looking for for today since I'm going to be out. currently using you guys as a mirror. Don't you hate it like when you're going out, you start to like break out. It's so annoying. You know what I find really funny is that 90% of my audience are men and right now they're just watching me do my makeup. So here is my OOTD um, out of the day. I've got a turtleneck on. I think it's going to be cold outside. Don't know if I want to wear a jacket or a coat. Alexa, what is the temperature outside? At the moment, it's four degrees Celsius. Today, uh, you can expect a high of four degrees. That's going to be pretty cold. But yeah, I'll be out in London today. So I've got my video ready, scheduled tonight at 7 p.m. Um, so all things are good in terms of vlogmas and not really saying any alerts maybe like I'll set one on EJ let me get this live okay I tried to get it on this camera but I'm just gonna do screen recording as we said that we had this ascending on EJ we sort of pushed up now do have this wick <clears throat> I like how we've broke broken each low meaning that we are moving to the downside so I mean this isn't really a trade that's really high probability in my opinion, but I will set an alert on around this level. So that's around that's around 10 pips from this inside bar. Um, but yeah, that was just that forecast from earlier. So right now I've got my alert set, um, charging my phone because I'm going to be out in London. And yeah, any any alerts that get like that I set on my laptop will get triggered on my phone as well so um that's just the system that I use before I go out and make sure I forecast and I know exactly where the market's at um so that's the only thing that I'm really looking at for today is that EJ trade but I will check it every now and then throughout the day um on my phone um I don't know if I'm going to be filming out much I don't know how I feel about filming in public or vlogging so I think I'll just take small clips um, hopefully. Something 
amazing weather here in London. Hey guys, so it's currently 20, can you see that? 9, 9.20 in the evening, I've just come home. Um, yeah, it was really good to go out and sort of see the city again, since it's, you know, the second day out of lockdown now. Um, and yeah, I've actually learned a big lesson in terms of trading today. Um, I'm actually gonna quickly do sort of an evening forecast show you guys this missed trade on EJ that is kind of like a lesson that I've learned and I'm glad I learned this lesson and you know in this channel try to be as open as possible and I hope I don't come across as you know I know it all I'm an expert I'm a guru you know this is me documenting my trading journey and progressing and learning new things making mistakes messing up as you guys knew that I did my forecast before I left and I showed you this EJ trade that I was interested to see how price reacted and um, this is actually a missed trade because what happened was remember I set an alert around around this level here or whatever and I saw it and I, I did like how you know price was like for me I was happy to take the trade and in at this area however I showed my friend this trade and um, he was like, you know, this is something that he wouldn't take and then this is where this is very interesting because That's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait too. I'm gonna wait as well Sticking to my analysis sticking to my plan sticking to that gut feeling. I guess I'm glad I learned it obviously this isn't really ever happened before because I've never been in the situation where you know a trades right there and then someone's been like you know like, they've had a different perspective um, obviously usually when I take my trades, when I'm trading, it's usually at home. So, you know, I'm glad I, I experienced that situation because now I'm aware that, you know, it just makes me a better trader. You know, you're always going to find things to improve on. I think when you, when it comes to trading, you can't always have it all figured out because it's a process. It's a lifelong skill. You know, certain situations, certain scenarios are going to happen. You know, one day there might be a period in your life where things are stressful that you like going through life events maybe a death or something really hard and do you still have that mentality it's cool that I'm doing vlogmas because I guess I can share some real uh, real-time lessons with you guys so another one is Kiwi CAD now this one looks quite interesting because the thing is we've broken this low here and again we've got this other level here so we're naturally gonna get a reaction here uh, this has definitely become more valid even though we did come from a very nice impulse as a setup but the area is low probability so yes the setup is nice in terms of we've come from a really clean ascending channel here we've come from a really nice impulse but where are we the area isn't the cleanest so we'll see what happens i do suspect that we will rage around uh, if we do get a nice entry a clean entry we'll see if i'll take that um, price action just has to develop a little bit more. It is currently approaching spread hours, which is 10 p.m. GMT here. So I've currently just been chilling on the couch downstairs and I am in this position. However, what I'm going to do, what my thought process is, it's currently just before 11 a.m. is that I'm going to trail my stops to above break even around like this area here. Um, because we are going to have NFP in about in about two and a half hours. Um, so I'll be keeping an eye out on that, especially if you have a funded account. You can't trade during restricted news events and NFP is one of them. Um, so if it comes to, if I'm not tagged out by then, I will be closing, which currently is now in profit. This is my advent calendar. Can't Got Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer here. <laughs> you gonna take me seriously? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm, Got Santa. Am I blind? Yeah. Are you blind? <laughs> blind. Where's that from again? Oh, that guy. You don't see me. Are you blind? You can't see me. I crashed. What is this? Huh? Why are you coming fast? I just hit. You hit me, and I just hit the car. Under the Walter <laughs> stairs. <laughs> <laughs> That's so 
such a bad joke. That's such a bad joke. I love it. Oh, I've got another. Have you again. written to Sam? This isn't a joke. <laughs> in this kiwi cat trade as you guys knew around at the break of this wait, where was i oh up here and then i closed it just before this massive Hey guys, I just wanted to jump in at the end of this video and say thank you for watching. Um, it's been a bit of a scattered one, a little bit about my life, just going out, uh, meeting up with friends, catching up, and a lot of forecasting, analysis, um, my opinion on trades, my thought process, and a lesson on terms of taking, like sticking to my analysis, sticking to my, to my plan. Um, and yeah, it's been a good week in terms of trading. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the thumbs up button if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.